a lot of misinformation out there these days and knowing what's right or wrong can be tricky. That's why we bring in this woman in Jade Green. She is an MIT doctor. She's wonderful. Welcome. Today is my favorite. It's Fact or Fiction Friday. So help us out by saying these popular beliefs by COVID-19 are fact or fiction. We talked about this earlier. Let's have an expert weigh in. It says a national mask mandate would save thousands of American lives. Doc, hit me. Is it fact or fiction? This one is absolutely fact, Tori. And we've been talking about a mask mandate all week long. Now we have the science to back it up. The IHME released the new model, as you just talked about, that said 66,740 lives would be saved if greater than 95% of people wore masks. And to me, something so simple like wearing a mask can save 66,740 people with hopes and dreams and wishes and lives and relationships. I mean, it's just incredible, the impact of the mask wearing. Wow, thank you for that. That's good to note. Everyone take <laughs> note. Now, our next one says, you can't have immune cells against this virus unless you have been infected. Is that fact or fiction? This is a good one. This is a tricky one. This is fiction. So new science is telling us that you can, in fact, have immune cells called memory T cells that you have because you've been infected with the previous strain of coronavirus, not this one, but they can protect you against this virus as well. And this is our first clue, you guys, as to why some people are getting so sick with the virus and some are asymptomatic or have mild symptoms. It could be exposure to a prior strain oh. that explains the difference. Oh, 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 I see. Uh, this one says because everyone is wearing masks and washing hands, I don't need to get my flu shot this year. Is that fact or fiction? Another fiction. So it's true that the incidence of flu is probably going to go down because people are wearing masks and washing their hands. But I have to tell you, this is the worst season to get the flu in because if you get the flu and end up in the hospital, you're going to get put on a COVID ward because there's so much overlap oh with the symptoms and you're going to put excess strain on the healthcare resources. So definitely go get that flu shot wow. and the window to get it is September to October. You don't want to get it too early because then you're not protected late in the season and you don't want to wait until after October because that's too late. Good to know. Wow. I'm putting that in my calendar. Yeah. Now. I was Remember like, to get flu shots, September, <laughs> October. Now our last one says, since I am high risk, I should avoid the doctor's office because it is a high risk environment. Fact or fiction? This one is now a fiction. So when we talked a few months ago, we told those high risk patients to stay home and avoid the doctor's office. But now that we're shifted into this pandemic mode for several months or even years, it is important for those high risk people, especially those with chronic medical problems to maintain care with their doctors. So I would recommend virtual visits to try to understand whether you need to come in or not. But it's not one of those that we have to avoid the doctor's office at all costs because doctor's offices are some of the safest places that you can be right now. Yeah, yeah. And I know I've talked to you pr personally about this. My mom is an immune compromised person and she's had to go to the doctors. And at first I was so worried. And then it seems like things have shifted a little that you're more comfortable with that. Um, so I really appreciate that update. Also, someone says you're in pine green. Excuse me for saying you're in jade. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Coley. You'll be back next week. If you do have a question about coronavirus, you want answered by the doc, write us on social media. Email also at info at dailyblastlive.com. There's no panic, just prevention and precautions. 